Did this close game get you a little more excited about the Warriors this season? No, it did not. <clears throat> I wish it did. It had me, uh, it actually had the opposite effect. Really? Um, it actually had me that much more annoyed at Kevin Durant going to Golden State because <clears throat> you look at the Western Conference, look, I just saw my man CP3 the other day, uh, NFL, NBA Players Association's new offices in Midtown, spectacular, spectacular job on all those parts. He's really trying to do a phenomenal job of taking care of the players and setting the tone moving into the next millennia. He should be very proud of himself, but I don't see his Clippers team really competing with the Golden State Warriors because as long as you get to foul DeAndre Jordan in the fourth quarter, you know, he's either going to have to make free throws or sit on the bench. And I'm sorry, that's not going to be enough to beat Golden State. Paul Gasol is very good and gifted, uh, but this ain't Tim Duncan three, four, five years ago. And so everybody else in the Western Conference, as far as I'm concerned, are irrelevant and don't matter. And I think that while Golden State can be suspect defensively, particularly with the departure of Andrew Bogut and Harrison Barnes. The fact of the matter is they're so prolific offensively, you can't afford to make mistakes when you have the ball. Otherwise, they'll bury you, which is what I anticipate they will do. The sad part about this upcoming NBA season is that I only see one team giving them a shot, giving them a run for their money, and it happens to be the Cleveland Cavaliers who are in the Eastern Conference. So when I looked at last night, I said to myself, unless someone gets hurt, and we certainly not wishing for that to happen to anybody, this season is going to be the equivalent of watching, you know, some, some juggernaut AAU squad or something like that. We're basically watching the Golden State Warriors in cruise control skate through the season. They'll have, you know, they'll have their troubles, you know, making adjustments, you know, one basketball for all the offensive weapons they have. They won't win 73 games this year. They might win 70 or 71, you know, something like that. But in the end, once the season is regular season is over and you're talking about the playoffs, you're talking about an elite offensive juggernaut of a team. To me, that can only be knocked off by the preeminent basketball superstar in the entire world. And his name is LeBron James. And whatever help you give him, that's going to be the only way that you have a shot to knock this team off. Last night reminded me of Warriors dominance because I looked at how your team USA was supposed to be so dominant how interesting Australia made it. And I said, everybody's going to jump on in and say, see, this could happen, this could happen. Oh, shut up. It's not going to happen, at least not during the regular season and into the Western Conference playoffs. I don't see it happening. It is imminent. Unless an injury takes place, it is Golden State, it is the Cleveland Cavaliers, a trilogy in the NBA Finals. That's what we have to look forward to. Uh, I know why you asked the question, because you see someone, a team you think is going to be unbeatable, almost kind of lose. They won by 10 points in the end, but you get pushed. You say, hey, maybe it's possible. Here's the problem. It doesn't change my opinion about the season at all for the Warriors, because this is not a one-and-done tournament in the NBA. If the Warriors were, an, were, were a college team and they were entering the NCAA tournament and one loss could knock you out, Sure. Then there's no such thing as an unbeatable juggernaut. Even the best teams ever could lose to a, a mediocre team on an off night. A couple balls don't fall your way. But in the NBA, the best team always wins because it's a best of seven series. So this doesn't change my mind at all about the upcoming season. That said, I'm very excited about the upcoming season. First of all, if you're a basketball junkie, you just like to watch NBA games, mm -hmm. which I do. It doesn't matter who's playing. Milwaukee, oh, they're kind of good now. You know, it yeah. you know who, whoever it is, Utah, you see some young players, you, it, even the, let alone the juggernauts, right, the, the big sexy markets and the great teams. I'll just watch NBA, period. But coming into this season, Stephen A., you brought it up, a trilogy? 
Are you kidding me? The rubber match coming up where the Warriors beat a depleted Cavs team and then the Cavs come back on the Warriors down 3-1 and beat them. And this is in boxing is called a rubber match because it bounces one way or another. Three consecutive years, the same two teams. And it's so obvious that, as you say, barring catastrophic injury to a key player on one of those teams or maybe even more than one player, Cleveland will 100 percent certainly come out of the East and the Warriors will 100 percent certainly come out of the West. So in that sense, there's no drama. But in the fight, you get great NBA action in the meantime. Really? Really? Yeah. Where? Where? Yeah. Where's the great NBA action? So See, that, 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 that's the stuff that annoys me. The stars are playing the Clippers. Are wait, you watching? Wait, wait, really? Yeah. Excuse me. Yes, I'm watching. Oh, okay. But I'm just checking. here's the difference. I was watching those games last year trying to gauge who could do what against the Warriors. And the answer was so nothing. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute now. Oklahoma City that had was the one wild card. Oklahoma yeah. City had them, okay? But we didn't know whether or not Oklahoma City was going to get by San Antonio. Right. You see what I'm saying? So it was a suspense because, as you know, in boxing, matchups make fights. Well, matchup makes fights in basketball as well. So when you looked at San Antonio and said, okay, I could see San Antonio losing to Golden State, but I could see Oklahoma City beating San Antonio. So what's going to happen? And then San Antonio, you know, and San Antonio wasn't a better matchup for the Warriors than OKC, and then OKC knocked off San Antonio. And so you said, okay, they got a shot to take them. Now we're watching, literally watching, and we're not talking about consolation prize for the NBA. We're talking about consolation prize for the Western Conference. Yeah, right. We're literally sitting back and going like this. Okay, who's going to finish number two? In the West. I still, There's no still, By the way, there could be a dominant no fighter on the top of the